Also, I'm Greg Warnock alongside Dom Trozzi as we bring you action today between the Army West Point Black Knights and the 21 ranked Pittsburgh Panthers. We're underway at 165 pounds, where it is Jake Wenzel, 13th ranked redshirt senior for the Panthers, taking on 32nd ranked freshman Dalton Harkins for Army. Yeah, Greg, and I'm really looking forward to this match. I think we we're hoping that we see a little bit more action from Wenzel in this match and as the season progresses, as he's known as that really good top wrestler. Um, and I, I think some of the his opponents have figured him out a little bit. So let's see if he can get on his, on his action early. Yeah, NCAA runner-up last year, Wenzel had a great season as the ACC champion. But uh, only th uh, he had a third place finish at the Mat Men tournament after the Midlands got canceled. And a 13th ranking, you know, might surprise some people, but uh, you know, Coach Gavin mentioned a lot of folks have figured him out as far as the upper body that he likes to do uh, on his feet and you know how strong he is wrestling on top. And so he's got to work on his feet a bit more, some of his shots and shot selection. And for Wenzel, who's been so dominant on top going back to his high school days, it's something he's definitely trying to work on and make sure he's ready for come postseason time. Shot here by Harkins on an outside single. Grabbing between the legs right now is Wenzel. Wenzel's known for such great defense and there you get the stalemate right there. So he's able to fight that shot off from Harkins who was in pretty deep. And Harkins uh, sixth place finish at the F&M Open. Freshman out of Malvern Prep. Still scoreless here in the opening period of our first match. Under a minute to go. And Wenzel's the first of several local wrestlers we'll see here out of South Park. We also got a couple from Bethel Park. So Coach Keith Gavin has made it a priority here to recruit local and try to grow this program from some wrestlers close by. Yeah, especially with the 2022 recruiting class he has coming in, you know, having the WPIL. And he mentioned, you know, in years past, the Panthers may have gotten those secondary WPIL wrestlers, still very good, but not that top upper echelon. And now he's getting those guys. And I think part of that is Bonacorsi, Wenzel, Philippi, local guys having success in the national level. And that's such a great asset to have is when you can – Got so many really good wrestlers just in your own backyard. Obviously, you want to go out and get those top guys from other places, but it's nice when you can just walk out your doorsteps and find some talent. Harkins, knowing Wenzel's strength, goes neutral to begin the second period after a scoreless first. That's a trend we've seen early this season with Wenzel's success really riding into that runner-up finish like you mentioned last year. Wrestlers just not choosing bottom against them. And he mentioned even uh, Coach Gavin uh, said even if he doesn't score on top, it's just punishing, you know, and he wears guys out underneath. So and we long. saw that in the ACC championships last year where um, I believe it was Makai Lewis was forced to kind of injury default out of that. And a lot of that was just Wenzel being so tough on top. We really haven't seen a good shot from him, though, and I think that's something that, that we wanted to see and I think Coach wanted to see as well is, is Wenzel trying to get in on that offense, but haven't seen a really good shot from him yet. Yeah, he mentioned he's more of a defensive wrestler, and then on top of that, he's more upper body, so he wants to get in those underhooks. Harkins, for that matter, he's stay, trying to stay out of that upper body. You see him in a tie up here, but he had that one really good-looking shot. Outside of that, not much action on their feet thus far. 50 seconds left here in the second period, still scoreless. Now he wants to go upper body, trying to get that underhook. Once was looking to try to jack it up here. Scoreless match, 30 seconds now left in the second period. And how tough is that, Greg, to change your style? I mean, once had a really unique style last year and I think some people figured him out. Now, 
later in his career, really, as a, as a redshirt senior, he's trying to change that style. And is that something that's difficult for extreme for wrestlers? Extremely. He, figured he, 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 he was dominant on top going back to when he was wrestling in high school in South Park. He'd get that one takedown, and he would just punish you on top. And you know, he carried that over to the college level. It took him a year or two as we are scoreless through two periods, and once we'll go on the bottom for the third. But it definitely took him a year or two, I think, in the college level to translate the, his strength on top and refine it. And, you know, obviously last year is when he really took advantage of that. But that's been, that's been his uh, in his DNA, I think, you know, since probably as, even his youth days as far as wrestling goes. So as once he gets out free for one, he leads one to nothing. First match of the duel starts here at 165 pounds. So this is the opening match. Army coming onto the schedule late after uh, Penn had to cancel on Pitt on Friday due to some COVID issues. So in comes Army, and then they're also able to pick up Michigan, which you'll see a little later today. But the Panthers able to get two duels on the calendar here. And a lot of people look at Army and their own four record and say, Oh, this should be an easy win for Pitt, but Coach Gavin, quick to caution that is their four losses. Penn State, Iowa, Iowa State, and Rutgers, four very tough pro programs. But all those on the road, and then now they come at Pitt on short notice. I mean, I think that's it's something you would expect out of a service, service academy, you know, Greg, just challenging themselves both individually and as a team with that tough schedule. Yeah, they do not shy away from competition. 40 seconds to go in the third period, Wenzel. A one to nothing lead on Harkins, and now a stalling call coming to Wenzel. His first, and he's going to have to watch as now he starts to pick up as his first shot, I think. Harkins gets in deep on Wenzel. Wenzel around the waist, around in between the legs, rather. 20 seconds left in this match. He's got the arm inside with the head, and that's why he's able to scissor that off. Harkins just trying to lean back in, down to 10 seconds to go. Now turns in, Wenzel just trying to continue to hold on. Now Harkins trying to lift up high, but not gonna have enough time, and Wenzel will hold on to a one to nothing victory here at 165. And that's a very classic Wenzel victory there, getting that escape in the third period, and then just using that great defense and scrambling and ability really to Get that one nothing victory. So a three nothing lead in the team score for the Panthers as we now head to 